there, 2nd of March, I'll do something different today. I'll do a product review on a Max Min thermometer from Amazon. What's that line there? Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, Max Min thermometer. Um, and it's got a remote as well, so you can have it indoors and outdoors. So, indoors and outdoors. Needs four batteries. Four triple A's. So, uh, unbox it and put it together and um, let you know how I get on. Instructions. Okay. <clears throat> Just to give you some of the blurb off the box. Um, weather forecast hydro therm. Sorry, weather forecast thermo hydrometer. Hygrometer. Instant access to monitor the changing weather. Indoor outdoor temperature, indoor range 0 to 50 Celsius, outdoor minus 20 to plus 65, cool. Uh, indoor outdoor humidity 20 to 95 percent, records max min uh, temperatures and humidity, that's good. Indoors and outdoors weather forecast, calendar and moon phase function. And this one's in black, but white is available. So there's all the blurb on the back there. Let's have a look then. Normally, being a man, I wouldn't read instructions, but I'll give you guys the best. So. Right, weather station. Don't domain unit, weather forecast, features, getting started. Remove the battery components, put it in there. Then. Remove the battery compartment cover. Insert two triple A's. Batteries are right in. Let's take the foil off as well because I'm not going to keep it. It's rubbish in the box. Recycling bin in a minute. Right. So you can see that area. After you power it on, the LCD will display for one second, and meanwhile, the hygrometer will detect indoor temperature and humidity, and then we'll start to receive the outdoor signal, which lasts for three minutes. Oh, press and hold the channel up and down to get channel 1, which is set to channel 1. See the both? Yeah, sorry. Current outdoor temperature and humidity data will be dis will be cleared during the read and read. That's it there, so that should come in pretty soon. Okay, so I've so sussed out the programming now. So, I'm doing it your way, so it's upside down to me, so forgive me if I go wrong. Press and hold alarm set until everything starts flashing. Change the year, up and down to change the year. Press alarm set again for the next function, which is over here at month. Again, press up and down. Then day, up and down. Press again for your language. Goes through quite a few languages. EN for English. 24 hour or 12 hour. Time, so hours, minutes. Degrees C or degrees Fahrenheit. And that's it, all done. And what we've got now, we've got indoor temperature, 18.8, which will just come out. It updates every three minutes. So, 57% humidity, and the remote unit is on channel 1, if you can see that. 17.4, 63% humidity, and that's in the veggie pod at the front garden. And the little arrow pointing down there is showing you the trend is going downwards. And this one here indoors, the trend's going upwards. And when you press MEM, you get the memory, max min. So this is the maximum it's been, 18.8, 71 indoors, 19.1, 64% outdoors. And then minimum, as you can see, 16, 52, 17.1. And a couple of things that I found out after I recorded the, uh, the video. If you press and hold the mem button, it clears the max min readings. 
And um, the little cloudy, sunny thing at the top there is a weather forecast. It sort of, it tries to predict the weather uh, based on the previous readings. Oh, pretty hopeful for this, looks quite good. I may even put this in one little poly greenhouse, not indoors, and leave the remote in the veggie pod or in the little plastic greenhouse over there. Well, hope that helps. I hope you can see the screen. Well, hope that was of some use to you guys. I bought this primarily as a Max Min thermometer. Didn't realise it did the humidity. But um, now that I know it does, it's certainly going to help with the old blight watch later in the year. The, uh, the Hutton factor will be easier to calculate. Anyway, uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs down if you don't. Click the bell and you'll get updates as soon as I uh, put a new video up. And why not subscribe? Have a great weekend. See you soon.